Yeah. And today we are going up to the Uluja mountain on his cable carts. Very, very excited. Come with me. And now we have to get some tickets um, to go up there. So let's see how much the tickets are and I'll give, I'll give you guys an idea of how much um, it costs to get these tickets. We've just got the tickets over here. So each ticket costs about 150 liras. Uh, that's only for foreigners, um, but if you're like a local person, it will cost about 60 liras each. Once you're coming through the gates, you have like this bottom area over here. You can get some sweets, you can get some snacks, you can kind of get some refreshments. You can go to the toilet. There's a few things over here you can do. You can maybe drink some beverages, but now we're going up the escalator, uh, trying to get onto the cable carts. So as you can see, you can get one of these for like uh, 30 liras. So it's time to queue up. And uh, excited because there's two, there's two ways of seeing this. You can see this like during like the summertime, but you can also see this when it's like the winter time when you're gonna do the skiing. So uh, I'm gonna have the opportunity to show you both seasons. Uh, that's the intention, inshallah. So these are the uh, strawberries with the chocolates um, spread around it. Bismillah. The strawberries are so sweet. The Nutella on it. What a blend. So from this from this shop, I bought this um, ring over here, and uh, over here we have this brother OJ. We have uh, Walla over here. Uh, they're from Syria, and uh, they were really helpful. So they actually fulfilled my dream of actually um, finding this ring. And over here, you have many many rings. And the name of this store? The legendary silver. The legendary silver. So when you come over here, you have these two wonderful human beings that will serve you. So do come over here, and this will be the first stop. So as you come out of the cable carts, when you come to Uludam Mountain. Uh, you'll find these wonderful people there. So, new ring. I love my rings. And this is green, the color of paradise. That's why I got this. You can actually um, ride these um, maybe through the woods and stuff like that. There's like a, a lot of like trails over here. And look at this. This is um, something I would like to do um, when I come back, inshallah, again in the winter time, which is snowmobiling. Now uh, this looks, oof, this looks fun, man. This looks so fun. So you got zip line here. You can do zip lining. You got some net course over here. Maybe this is more for the children. Uh, this is trampoline. This is again for the children. Olympic trampoline. Maybe a bit more adults can do that. Giant swing. So that's quite interesting. Catapult, wow. And you've got climbing wall, air shot, hold on climb, zip coaster, rope course. You name it, you've got everything over here. Like, you've got to come up here. I don't know, I've been to Turkey before, as I said a few times. But um, now I'm actually traveling the country a little bit more. And then if you look over there, you have some, some apartments there that maybe you can possibly stay at. Um, but there's so much to do. Like, I just thought that you come up over here and you just do skiing. But there's so much to do up here. There's so many activities, so many restaurants. Go adventure. Rope course, hold on, climb on. All of this stuff over here. All right, so um, we're over here, Uluja Mountain, um, almost 2,000 meters above the uh, ground. So. Um, look at this, this area. So there's like these uh, trees over here. There's like wooden seating areas as well. And there's a lot of barbecues over here that are happening. So with the barbecue, um, you have this beautiful smoke coming out and it's just 
you know, the aroma of it, you know, you can kind of smell that charcoal -y type of smell and you're like, ah, you know what, when, when it's time to eat, it's going to be uh, something worth, worth uh, waiting for. Because there's so many trees here, there's like thousands of trees over here. As we were coming up on the cable cars, we saw so many thousands of trees, hundreds of trees. Um, you know, you know that this is a place that has a lot of fresh air and oxygen. So once you come over here, make sure that you bring like your hoodie along with you because um, it's very, very chilly out here. So it gets very chilly, it gets very cold in spite of it being, you know, um, close to the summer months, even though summer is kind of leaving us. But um, it's definitely something that you have to keep in, in mind whenever you come here. So look at this place. Uh, this is where zip lining is done. Uh, this is the place I was showing you on the board as well. Got a zip line there. So I'm going across. Look at that. Incredible. So check this out. This place has become misty. It's um, it's the clouds. We're, in, we're actually in the cloud. This is how high we we are at this moment. The feeling is marvelous. It's just tranquil and relaxing and. Just uh, so nice to be in. Yeah, some tea, some coffee, some. Uh, Uh, Alright, so my uh Wow. Wow 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 wow. So look at this. This is my uh Kofte Ekmek eh? and look at the steam coming out. And it's quite good because um when you're in a place like this where it's really really um misty and a little bit chilly something warm like this to keep you warm yeah all right let me try it That is so crispy. It's been toasted on the grill. So the bread and then the kofta as well, like very juicy, very soft. Ah, oh, what a combination. Very simple. But you come to Oladá over here, you have to try this out. Very, very yummy, very delicious. So if you look over here, it's got the uh, smoky barbecue flavor. Um, it's got some tomatoes in it as well. Um, it's also got some onions in it as well, so you kind of taste this as well. And it's just so well cooked. It's just so well grilled. It's done like any more cooked or any less cooked, the balance would be there, but very well cooked. Mm. Wow. Got some Turkish tea over here as well. Let's try this out. Oh, well. Very good, very good. Uh, another day, um, another day getting some sweet corns. And uh, sometimes it's um, the place that you're at, the place that you're at, which makes it more special. All right, so here I have the salib. This is um, an Arabic drink. And uh, let me just try this out. Um, it's got nice steam coming out, especially during this time when it's like misty, we're in the clouds. Bismillah. Mm. Whoa, I've never had that before. As the Turkish say, çok lezzetli. It's uh, very, 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 very delicious. Okay. So yeah, that's the, the ten. So what's your what's your name? Orhan. Half cup egg back. Very, very delicious. Very nice. Very nice. Um, so definitely come over here. Time to go back. been a wonderful day it got very it got very very cold the mistake we made was we didn't bring any um, coats I put this little hoodie with me but um, it wasn't enough you know you need your long johns up here the thing is that you kind of get deceived by the fact that down um, on a normal 
on a normal part, before you come up here, it's very, very um, warm. The sun was out and you're thinking, oh, it's going to be very hot. And once you come out, um, it was cool. But as the sun started to go a little bit down, um, and especially as it near, it's nearing towards them sunset, like within an hour or so, it's become so cold. So sitting there, you know, you're really freezing. It just reminded me of being back in London and stuff like that. So, you know, the mist is everywhere. We, you know, we, we ended up, you know, actually ended up being in the cloud. So that was a wonderful day. Um, you know, so happy to be here because I really like just sitting there. It's not even about you having a walk. There's so much to do over here but you don't need to even walk, you just need to sit down and just have some warm beverages. Um, I also had that gofte ekmek as well, that, that, that gofte in, in the bread, uh, which was a bit uh, toasted up. And uh, it just keeps you warm to a certain extent, but it was just well worth coming up here because of the atmosphere, the, the freshness of the air. Yeah, just look at the, just look at the, the scenes. Incredible. Like, I don't know if the camera can do justice, but what I'm seeing, is um I sort of handle that. it's 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 incredible it's absolutely marvelous let's go it's time that was um a wonderful trip a dream come true i've wanted to go here for months and months and months and got an opportunity to come here today so um i hope you enjoyed the vlog of uh, coming here to Ulda. And uh, I hope you guys do comment below whether you guys are gonna try coming here. If you do, let me know and uh, let me know how it goes. And uh, do subscribe to my channel because I'm gonna come here back, inshallah, in the winter time and uh, do a proper vlog of the skiing part. That's the main thing that you do over here. And uh, do subscribe to my channel and I'll see you there.